perfect ski turn feels like a free fall to start with and it's a nice feeling of landing on the trampoline to finish off with. All those feelings in one word. Flow. Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Mittal. I'm a level four instructor and trainer examiner. I'm based out of Aspen Highlands, teaching and coaching skiing here. I'm here with CAR today and I'm going to explore how two specific metrics on the CAR app can help you increase your edge angle and improve your skiing. There are so many people out there trying to achieve a high edge angle, but they start too late in the turn. The story actually begins in the previous turn. Getting a high edge angle is crucial if you are looking to arc a tight radius turn, control your speed while carving, and manage the forces from a tight turn. But it's not enough to just lean into the turn. The first step is how you exit the previous turn. I've got two concepts I would like to talk about in order to achieve a high edge angle. The first one is a metric on the CARF app called early weight transfer. The transfer of weight onto the new outside ski actually happens much earlier than people think. I like to try to start transferring my weight at the apex of the previous turn. This video will help you to understand how we achieve and manage that transfer. This year, it's the first year CARF has early weight transfer in the system as a metric, which is crucial in order to really release the old turn and start increasing the edge angle and pressure in the new turn. So instead of looking at high edge angle metric only, you should look at early weight transfer metric in order to increase edge angle in the new turn. Okay, let's give it a go. Jump into it here. Now, now I'm transferring. And now I'm transferring. And now I'm transferring. Now, now. Let's talk about what early weight transfer metric is really about. It's all about taking the weight off my downhill ski, the ski which is most dominant. I'm really focusing on making my foot and my leg soft, encouraging my leg to collapse, to retract underneath me. By doing that, I'm really staying compact throughout the transition phase and it's setting me up for the edge increase into the new turn. The average skier will have an early weight transfer score of around 40 to 50%. If you want to achieve that high edge angle and get to the next level, you should be aiming to push that up to around 75% and I have a great drill to help you with that. So, I go through the turn, from the apex, I, I need to maintain my upper body facing into the new turn down the mountain as I'm lifting my uphill ski and placing it back above me onto the edge here. As soon as the edge is digging the snow and I feel there is a platform to balance against, I can bring and lift the downhill leg and place it towards the uphill leg. And I'm all set for the edge increase into the new turn. Okay. If my release is good enough, my skis are traveling back underneath me as they are flattening through the transition. So they get nice and high in order to be set up for the next turn. So as I'm releasing my turn, I don't want to allow my skis to travel down the mountain too quick. So having those data, you can really see where on the arc and how you are doing your weight transfer. Carve is gonna provide you with the feedback on it. And if you can measure it, you can definitely improve it. The second concept I would like to talk about is a metric called early edging. 
If you're scoring in early edging metrics high, that means you start your edging process early and you are really rolling through to the first half of the turn. In this graph, you can see the raw data behind calf and you can see the change in edge angle of the ski through the turn. The x-axis shows the turn over time from beginning to end. The y-axis looks at the edge angle at every point in the turn. Carve's early edge metric is looking at the rate of the increase of your edge angle in the first 20% of the turn. The faster and higher I can roll onto my edge, the more I will score. A high-level skier will be getting 75% and above, while an average calf skier will be getting 50%. And I have another drill to really help you ramp up that metric. So the next drill is aim to help you to achieve an early edging. Let's try to put the emphasis on moving down, encouraging the body to drop down. We're gonna use the gravity to pull our inside hip back, down, like this way, in order to feel like the outside ski is traveling forward at the same time. So I'm gonna guide you through it. I wanna start off with like a wide stance. And now I'm gonna encourage my body to drop and feel like as I'm dropping, my other leg is coming forward. In order to allow the hip to drop down, I really want to have my leg really soft and relaxed. So it's gonna retract as I'm dropping my body into the leg here. At the same time, the leg on the outside of my turn is gonna lengthen, it's gonna get longer as the ski is traveling forward around me, in front of me. Okay. Now I turn, I release, I go drop down and foot goes forward. Drop down and outside ski goes forward. Drop down, outside ski goes forward. So, after a smooth release comes a smooth increase. In order to increase your edge angle from the early edge position, we should focus on how to get the body not just to the side into the turn, but also down towards the ground. What is super important, no rush. Don't rush this process. Transition is smooth and then also the edge engagement must be smooth in order to really achieve a high edge angle later on in the turn. So in order to wrap it up, your release originates from the apex of the previous turn. Be gentle, feel like your leg is getting lighter and softer and also shorter as a result of it. By doing that, you can really achieve a new edge engagement early in the turn when the skis are still pointing across the mountain. From this point onwards, gravity and momentum is gonna help you to really edge early and start rolling, increasing the edge angle from the top of a turn into the new apex. So next time you're out skiing, think about your apex of the previous turn as a gate into the transition. Be patient and welcome your skis to come back underneath you before you're gonna lean into your new turn. When you're leaning, maybe think about having your body dropping down in order to achieve a higher angle. I hope those concepts are helpful and next time we'll be skiing around, I hope your hips will be getting closer to the ground and help you to increase your calf metrics to push you a little bit higher on the worldwide leaderboard. And remember, it's always ask the grass.